Today's forecast that the cost of HS2 could soar as high as £106 billion will come as no surprise to close observers of the project. The number, calculated by infrastructure consultant Michael Bing, is in line with Prime Minister Boris Johnson's prediction last year that the project will come in north of £100 billion. Read more, MPs were misled on HS2 cost, says former Deputy of Government Review into Project but the figure, taken from a leaked copy of the government's official review into the project, will still raise eyebrows. So as Downing Street continues to delay its final decision on whether to build HS2 or not, here are some of the key questions and answers regarding the divisive project. What is the HS2 route? At first, HS2 will be a new railway between London and the West Midlands, carrying between 14 and 18 trains an hour. This will cut journey times from 1 hour 21 minutes to just 52 minutes. Trains will be able to travel at speeds of up to 250 miles per hour, more than 60 miles per hour faster than the 186 miles per hour Channel Tunnel Rail Link, and will each have up to 1,100 seats. If the project gets the go ahead, then the second phase will likely split into two different lines. One will travel from Birmingham to Manchester, while the other will go from Birmingham to Leeds. Manchester to London journeys will take just 1 hour 7 minutes, less than the current 2 hours 7 minutes, and Birmingham to Leeds will take 49 minutes. In turn, this will likely reduce journey times between London and Edinburgh and Glasgow by an hour to around 3 hours 30 minutes. The Department for Transport has said the project will increase the capacity of trains across the entire route by as much as three times, freeing up capacity on the busy commuter routes. Read more, Deputy Chair of Leet HS2 Review slams whitewash report when will it open? Who knows? Official predictions have the first section of the railway, between London and Birmingham, set to open between 2028 and 2031. Meanwhile, the second phase to Manchester and Leeds has been pushed back to between 2035 and 2040. That means the project could be as much as seven years overdue by the time it is completed two decades from now. How much will it cost? In 2019, a long standing price tag of about £56 billion was hiked to between £81 billion and £88 billion, as set out in a report by the current HS2 chairman Alan Cook last September. However, according to the government's own review, Written by former chairman Douglas O'Kavy, it could cost as much as £106 billion. Meanwhile Lord Tony Berkeley, who was deputy to O'Kavy until late 2019, released his own dissenting report on the project. That put the price tag even higher, at £107 billion. That means the project is likely to cost more than three times as much as its original estimate of £32.7 billion. Read more. HS2 fundamental to hitting UK emissions target, says lobby group Why has it overrun so much? A number of factors, B for more on this story, visit the news article link.